what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris with Committed 3D Tech, and on this channel we review tech and crypto related products and investments all the time. So if that's what you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be unboxing the Helium Hotspot. Helium is funded in part by Google Ventures, which makes it pretty much a behemoth in the crypto startups. It's also partnered with companies like Limebike, Invisileash, Nestle, and Agulus, which is a farming company. So also in this video, what we're gonna talk about is if it is worth the $500 to own your own Helium hotspot. And last but not least, we are gonna be doing a Bitcoin giveaway for this video. All you have to do is comment down in the description with your Bitcoin address and answer the simple question, do you think Helium hotspots are worth it? So go ahead and smash the like button for me and let's get started. So getting this thing set up is gonna be extremely easy. The antenna, you literally just put it on the back here and you just screw it in. I, I mean, it couldn't be more simple than this. Now, I am gonna mention, I am gonna put a supercharged antenna on this as well. So um, I'll, I'll show a picture right up here. Basically down in Austin, at the Austin office, they put a supercharged antenna on it and uh, that basically reaches a, a much farther distance. So I'm actually gonna do that. Uh, you can get the antenna. The, he sent me the parts, there's three different parts, but I actually found a whole package where you can just get uh, all, all of it all together and cheaper than he listed. So it's a it's hundred bucks extra for the, the longer, for the longer antenna. So if that's something you wanna do, I'll, uh, I'll tag a link down in the description for for that specific antenna. So we're actually gonna go through the whole process today. I mean, the setup for it is, is pretty easy. So, I mean, if you have trouble setting up the hotspot like this, tech might not be your thing. And there you go. The light is going, everything is on. So now that you have your hotspot uh, all plugged in and ready to go, what we're gonna do is it, it does have a port for an ethernet here. You can see, uh, I'm not sure if you have to plug it in for that. I, I'm gonna opt to not plug it into the ethernet. It is Wi-Fi capable, so uh, I'm hoping that it works that way. We'll talk a little bit more about the specs and some more details about the hotspot after we, after we set it up. Okay, so in the app store, what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in helium, you're gonna search that. And this is the app you wanna download, the Helium Hotspot. If you go into this, you'll notice they are doing updates constantly, uh, constantly improving the system. So that's something I really admire about this company. Now, I actually have a Helium account already set up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to go to this create an account. You click I understand, and it's creating you a 12 keywords that are linked to your wallet specific. So you wanna write these down and you wanna make sure you don't lose them. Also, you don't wanna give these words out to anybody, otherwise they're gonna be able to go into your account and take all of your Helium tokens, whatever they wanna do with them. So since I already have one set up, I'm actually just gonna to go to importing my existing one. Now this is interesting because this is the first time that I've used a second phone to check on my, my Helium account. So I actually have it on two phones. That's really good for me to know that I can actually have the app on multiple devices and check on my hotspot. So it says that my hotspot is mining already. So I'm gonna enable notifications. Uh, I don't know exactly what that'll do, but all right, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna go set up hotspot. Uh, so it, it gives you some advice here. You wanna give it a nice view. So basically setting it up near a window, second floor is probably gonna be better than uh, the first floor. I'm Unfortunately, I'm on the first floor, so. It says don't hide me, so don't be putting it in like bookshelves or things like that. It needs wide open spaces to be able to send and receive those radio signals. And let's see, buildings may block my signals, so 
Um, once again, give it a nice opening uh, opening spot. It also hates bug screens. I, I'm guessing it has to deal with the metal, something like that. So um, if you set it next to a window, you might want to take that bug screen out. Read the guide, we've got diagnostic support. Boom, 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 I need power. Uh, okay, so it's plugged into power. The antenna is screwed in and the green light is on. Okay, pair with me. Press the black button on the side. So I'm gonna push that black button on the side. Light turned blue and make sure your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Scanning, looking for hotspots near you. Helium's hotspot D2FF, nice. You can see that's the light on top right there. So it's blue. So this, this is an unfortunate um, blip that it's not detecting Wi-Fi. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug it into ethernet for now, just to make it easy for the setup. There we go, okay. So I've got my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I did have to go back in. Basically, I just went, I, I basically refreshed it to find my Wi-Fi. I was able to do that, uh, so that all worked out. The other thing that happened was, I did need to basically go back and try adding the hotspot a second time which I don't like that I had to do that, but it's uh, basically, it did, it did start processing. Um, interesting is that it looks like you do have to buy a certain amount of data credits uh, eventually. It's looking like early adopters who get this aren't gonna have to pay, uh, aren't gonna have to purchase those right off the bat, which is extremely nice. But that does mean that those who are later adopters, that is gonna help build the network more. So I always say this when it comes to crypto, but getting, in, getting into projects that you think are going to make it, it's better to do it earlier than later. You look at Bitcoin, for instance. You know, if you were to get into that when it started, way back when, you would be, there are millionaires from Bitcoin alone. So this is the same idea is you know this is this is new technology and you're basically helping build that. So um, it, it took it, it took a couple instances of clearing the app, exiting and going back in. It was a little bit wonky. I'm guessing that's going to get improved as time goes on. But as you can see here, you know I'm all set up. Uh, it looks like I'm online. Looks like I'm syncing to the blockchain right now. Uh, I don't have any hotspot activity yet but we'll uh you know we'll, we'll keep we'll keep posted on that so it, it, i also think this is funny so each hotspot has its own unique name mine is a little tawny kitten something else that's really cool is if you go to twitter this is this is something that i'm following the helium hot helium spot bot so basically it uh it, it's just an api that hooks whenever a hotspot is put on the network and it posts it on Twitter. So you can see, you can basically see the network being built as it goes, which is pretty cool. So there are a few things that I wanted to go over other than that. And uh, that's basically, why would you wanna get a hotspot? So let, let's just go over a few things. Helium is the first peer-to-peer -peer wireless network. So basically with a Helium hotspot, you can power uh, you, you can supply data to low power IOT devices. So the network enables companies to focus on applications and use cases. Uh, so basically it's like you owning a little piece of a data network similar to Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, things like that. So imagine if you got a percentage every time someone bought a plan or used some data off of one of those networks, that's similar to what this is doing for you. So, uh, like I said, it's built and owned by you, which is great. Anyone can own a hotspot and then they can start earning cryptocurrency as soon as it starts going. It's also private and secure. This is built on blockchain, all of the data is encrypted. And something really cool about this is Helium built their own blockchain for this. It's not built on the Ethereum blockchain or riding on someone else's technology. This is their own technology that they have built. It's pretty cool. It's also reliable and scalable. Since it's decentralized, basically they can build the network anywhere they need it to be 
and uh, it, it's easy to scale at that point too. Another thing is it's open source. So for instance, an iPhone is closed source. Uh, you, you can't go out, build your own iPhone and sell it because Apple owns all of that. Not to mention it's really difficult to make that technology. But with this network, you can go out and build a company that supplies, that, that utilizes this network to provide a service for a business. So you can program the software and build the devices that, for instance, an ice cream truck company would use so that a manager can go back and look at all of the data to make sure that all of the ice cream was at a certain temperature throughout the day. That is a business that you could do. And it's also something like I mentioned that Limebike is doing, uh, Nestle Chocolate, Invisileash, and Agulis. So here are the hotspot specs. Uh, it has a quad core processor, one gig of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. Nothing absolutely amazing, but for what it's doing, this is definitely uh, pretty good. It's got lots of different networking capabilities and its capacity is approximately providing data to 1.5 million machines per day or 62,500 devices per day. So that's pretty awesome, the capacity that this has. Of course, network bands, it has the radio frequency, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, which is pretty standard. As far as energy usage goes, it takes only five watts per hour, which means in order to run the hotspot, it's gonna cost you less than three cents per day in energy. Now let's talk about the, uh, the tokens a little bit. So Helium is a new cryptocurrency that hotspots earn for providing and validating wireless coverage. And when devices on the network connect to the internet through hotspots, we've talked about the four different ways that you can earn uh, Helium tokens with a hotspot before, but I'm just gonna go over them real quickly. A challenge is basically, it's basically the same thing as mining where you basically solve a block. Uh, so anytime the algorithm from your hotspot solves one of those, you're gonna be rewarded. Number two is proof of coverage. So basically when multiple hotspots are communicating with each other, they provide a string of coverage. And so those hotspot users are each gonna be rewarded for providing that string of coverage. So the more, the more hotspots in an area, the better proof of coverage. Number three is something called a bound witness, which basically means, for those of you who are familiar with XYO, basically anytime multiple devices communicate with each other, they confirm that they are there. So uh, let's say, three devices confirm that they're there and they're communicating and they send a signal to the network saying, hey, we were all there, we've made a bound witness. And then the network can come back and say, hey, was this person there? And if those three say, no, it was just us three, that's basically uh, eliminating spoofing from the network. So it's a, it's a good way to keep data integrity. And then number four, of course, the most important is gonna be transferring data to and from IoT devices and the internet. So for instance, like Limebike, let's say for scooters, for instance, for Lime scooters, GPS takes up about 25% of the battery. And if you think about that, battery life is really important because 25% of the battery, all of that usage is not going towards profits, times that people could be using the scooter because it's out of battery. These IoT devices are very low power, things like Lime scooters, as far as their location, uh, how much power is on them, all of these things, that's gonna save them energy and it's also going to increase their profits because the scooters are gonna be able to be out uh, in the market for longer without having to be picked up and recharged. And then you can also see the distribution here of the Helium tokens. There is no pre-mine when it comes to helium tokens. Every month, approximately 5 million helium tokens are minted. And you can see the distribution over time. As of right now, it's pretty evenly distributed, but eventually it's going to be mostly distributed for the network data transfer. 
Data credits are how users, how businesses are gonna pay for the data being transferred to and from. It's gonna be very low cost and inexpensive. The price is gonna be fixed in US dollars and also, and, and the way it works is it's pay to play. So there aren't any monthly plans or anything like that. It's basically how much data am I gonna need? I'm gonna buy that many data credits and then I'm gonna use that to transfer my data. Also, it's really important to note any Helium token that is converted into data tokens is burned completely from the circulating supply, permanently. So that's gonna help the scarcity and increase the value, value uh, of, of the product, the Helium token itself. One last update as well, uh, if you're really interested in diving headfirst into Helium, you can become a Helium patron, which basically is gonna give you extra, re extra rewards for hosting more hotspots. So here's just a, a list of some of these. I'll, I'll tag a link down in the description. I don't expect a lot of people to want to uh, jump in to this many hotspots, but if it's your bag, then hey, why not give it a shot? So the ultimate question then is, is the Helium hotspot worth the 499 bucks? Since it is backed by Google Ventures, in my personal opinion, I feel like it is worth it. Now, keep in mind, this isn't a get rich quick, and in crypto, there is really no get rich quick opportunities. So this is an investment. The network isn't fully built yet, so it's gonna take some time. If you are looking for faster investments, I suggest either building your own mining rig or getting a CoinMine 1. The CoinMine 1 is ready to mine Bitcoin out of the box. It is going to be utilizing something called proof of staking in 2020, which is basically a new Bitcoin mining algorithm that is going to make it a whole lot easier and lower power consumption to, to mine Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well. So I highly recommend the CoinMine 1. If you wanna check out the review, I'll tag that in the description. But the number one investment right now is gonna be crypto.com. Plain and simple, you can get $50 in MCO tokens just for signing up for the Ruby Red Visa. All you have to do is stake 50 MCO tokens and you and I both get that reward. It's by far the greatest crypto investment as of right now. It's a new platform. They're definitely cornering the market as far as their domain name. And their platform is really simple, easy to use. And their, their reach is just going global. So I highly recommend that. Last but not least, if you haven't smashed the like button, go ahead and do that for me. And subscribe to the channel if you're interested in hearing more and more about tech and crypto. Last but not least, my name is Chris with Committed3D Tech. And we will catch you next time.